Greetings, it's Sally Jesus, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a haul slash preview of what's going to be available in today's live sale. And of course, if anyone's interested in anything, please send me an email um, and I'll let you know if it's available and the pricing. But also check it out. Um, today we're having a live sale at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And that's when you're going to be able to see these items again as well. And they'll be available then. Uh, and if you can't watch that replay, you can always send me an email, like I said. Or you can watch that replay and you can check out the description box of that video. Items availability and their pricing will be down there as well. But let's just jump into this because I got some really, really good stuff. And I got like a plethora of like different like brands as well. So I'm really excited. I'm going to start off though with this cute little guy. I'm like, I've been thinking about keeping him. I'm like, I don't even know. What should I do? This is a cute little ghost coin case from coach it's white and the eyeball has like it's like a little heart and it's a winky and he's like oh i can't make that face but yeah it is so stinking cute the the leather i feel like it has like some light marks on it like not like discoloration marks but like um because it's a smooth leather it does have a couple little like indentation-y things but nothing crazy it has gold hardware it's so cute i mean this is something that you like you, it doesn't need to be halloween to have this it's so cute i remember when this collection came out and i was like oh, do i need to buy anything from it and i was like i'm gonna be strong like maybe something will pop up eventually and then here it is i really like the pumpkin though or like i think there was like a candy corn there's the inside it's nice and clean on the interior. This is actually a pretty good size. You can fit change in here. You can uh, fit like credit cards inside of here as well. And I th I think AirPods might be a little thick for it. It might like pop out a little bit, but you can definitely put like um, car keys or something in here too. So it's a really, really fun piece. And I feel like the little ghost, like I feel like that's all year round. It's not just Halloween. But it's adorable, and I love it. I was just really excited to see it, so we got that. Okay, next up, this is a pair of sunglasses. Now, these sunglasses are actually still available on the website. They are Diesel. This is my first time picking up Diesel sunglasses. I think these are so pretty. I would keep these, except that they do not fit my face. So, um, these, they just, like... They don't sit, they don't even touch my nose. They're like literally just floating. They're just sitting on my cheeks. But they are such a cool pair of sunglasses. They are like an iridescent color. I don't know if that's really coming across on camera. But look at the sides. Little on the arms. So cool. So chic. I love that they're like iridescent. They're so pretty. They do have, I think that's a mark. Or is that like from my finger? Hold on. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was just, like, oils from my fingers. Yeah, the lenses are in pretty great shape. These still retail online. Like, still available online. They retail for $225. And they're just really cool. They're such awesome sunglasses. They just, like, I just can't wear them because they don't fit my face properly. So it makes me really, really sad. But I know one of you guys will love them. And they're just so chic. Like, they're so cool. They're so now. And I just love that they're iridescent. I want some iridescent sunglasses now. It's not fair. Uh, I'm sad. All right, next up, I have this for you guys. This is a vintage Dunian Burke briefcase bag. And it's in this, like, tan, like, taupey tan color, all-weather leather. And then it has this contrasting, like, golden tan brown leather brass hardware. This was made in USA. It is beautiful it is large and in charge this will hold like a 15 inch macbook pro you got the cross body strap right here it does also have the little padded part to sit on your shoulder nicely this is in such great condition you guys it literally looks so so good and nice big back pocket there are like some light mark on the leather but like again nothing crazy like this looks really really good this bag is probably as old as i am the only thing there's some pen marks underneath that top flap but i feel like that's okay it's not like the worst i'm gonna try to sand it out and see if i can get it out um inside pocket there's a zipper there's another open pocket with a little snap underneath and that's it a little made in us hey tag is right there in that corner and this is just a beautiful beautiful bag so chic so cool and i know there's a lot of 
vintage Judy and Burke collectors out there too. And I feel like this is such a nice piece. And for its age, I think it looks really, really good. Like it looks like it was just made like yesterday, honestly, like minus the pen marks. Like it's in such great shape. And it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. Also, it does still have the little Judy and Burke charm right there. Okay, next up, I have this, um, this is a black Marc Jacobs. I think this is called the, is it the Fran? I forget the name, but it's a black Marc, did I say, wait, what did I say? I hope I said Mark by Mark. I don't even remember what I said. Mark by Mark bag. This is black leather. It has like the gold hardware. It is missing the crossbody strap, but I do believe I have an extra black Mark by Mark Jacobs crossbody strap that probably would like was from this same collection so it'll you won't even know so i just have to find it hopefully i can find it by the time we go live with this but yeah it's in really great shape too i love this style because i love like it has a built-in top handle already and it just like looks really cute and really chic on your shoulder and the interior of this is actually really really clean so there's a magnetic top flap Interior has the black and white Marc Jacobs monogram lining. There's a zipper pocket inside of there. Then there's two open pockets on the other side. It is just a really, really great bag. I believe this bag was also reissued. So it was retired and it was reissued recently when Marc Jacobs started reissuing his um, the styles from this collection. So like the Natasha, that's the one with like that top flap that has a zipper built in. Uh, the Marc by, oh, the Marc Jacobs collection, the Stam bag was brought back. There was like kind of like a bowler bag that was also brought back as well from this collection as also. And this is in such great shape. Like the hardware looks really, really good. And the leather is in really great shape. Like I said, the interior is nice and clean. So this is a beautiful bag. Ready for a new home. I love this style too. I feel like this is so timeless and chic and beautiful. Uh, okay, ooh, but speaking about Mark by Mark, I have another Mark Jacobs bag. This one is also, this one is a newer style. So this is a beautiful, like purple, furry Mark Jacobs number. This is from the Snapshot collection. I love the chain snapshot logo here on the front. It does have the cross body strap as well. It's chained. It is removable, but it's not adjustable. <laughs> Top handle is so cute. This is magnetic here on the front. Okay. Here is the interior. It still has like all of the Marc Jacobs stuff too, like the little care book and all that stuff is inside of there. It has like, it still has like the paper that like protects like the, um, like the pocket of the cards and all that goodness. And the interior is actually lined in leather as well, which is really, really cool. So this bag is honestly like, is it brand new? It could be like brand new, but we're going to say it's in like new condition. It's super cute. It's leather on the bottom as well. And it's such a cute little bag. And also this will definitely fit like, um, like the largest cell phone will definitely fit inside of here. This one's such a good one. You guys it also says Mark Jacob underneath there. Isn't this so cute? Like, honestly, this style of bag is, like, it's adorable. It's furry. It's, like, lavender. It's everything. It's so fun. Like, who doesn't want, like, a fun, like, purple bag? Okay, next up we have... This is a Dooney and Burke Disney bag. And this one is so, so cute. It's, like, the... Disney park bag so it has all of the different um places in Disneyland so there's like Adventureland and then there's Main Street Tomorrowland Toontown it's a really really cute this is on a textured coated canvas the texture is kind of like an epi leather and it has like that all the print is on there there is a little bit of like yellowing to it from like the leather like that's on it like it kind of has like a yellow a little bit like around it but i feel like it adds to it because it already looks like it's supposed to be like like the print looks a little aged already too so i feel like it just adds more character to it it does have the top handle it does also have the longer strap as well which is removable and adjustable and then interior is in this beautiful red then there's some little slight discoloration primarily at the top of where the zipper is which will happen over time anyway there's a zipper and then three pockets and then a key fob inside of there but it's such a cute bag you guys uh 
So, so cute. It does also have little feet. Oh, there's also mini right there. Oh, yeah, mini matches all around. Disney Dooney and Burke bag. The leather is in um, pretty decent condition. I think it needs a little bit of a conditioning. And there is a little scuff mark right there, which I actually believe is from when they clip the bags up, which is annoying. I feel like they shouldn't use the clips to hold them up, but then sometimes it's just like the easiest way, but it damages the bags sometimes. Like, I'm pretty sure that's from the clip because I've, I've seen the damages those, the damage those clips do, but what can you do? I'm gonna see if I can condition it and get it to look a little bit better, but it's honestly not the worst, but it's like right there. Do you see that? Anyway, Disney, Dooney and Burke. Next up, I got another one of these. This is a um, a bag by the by Frame, and I actually had this bag um, a few months ago. But it's cool. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, um, or you can you can get away with wearing it crossbody. But it does sit really high up. But it's such a cool bag. Like the perimeter goes into like the shoulder strap piece goes all the way down not at the bottom that's still soft but this is like a thicker um, more structured leather and then the body of the bag is like super soft leather um, it does just say frame right down there down below and then the interior is it says frame by Ilona Hammer made in Italy right there on that pocket which is leather than the interior fabric lining is like in a this cream color and there's a zipper pocket on the other side as well but yeah it's a beautiful bag um second time that i've had this and there are pen marks though at the bottom i don't know if that's coming up but pen marks on the bottom of the bag it's such a cool one i believe this bag was pretty expensive to a couple hundred so awesome awesome bag put that down there okay next up i have Okay, I have a wallet. This one is so cute. This is a Gucci wallet. It has a pen stain, like, right there. Um, but there's also a lot of discoloration on the leather. I am going to color match this. I have this Vachetta. It's, the color is called Vachetta. This isn't, like, actual Vachetta leather because this is just, like, the color painted on. And that's why there's, like, color loss and all that stuff. So... I actually have this color leather paint, so I'm go I'm actually going to repaint it all, like the leather portions, and then it's not even going to matter that there's like an ink stain right there because that's going to get covered up. Um, but I do love like the little bamboo turn lock right there. I think that's so cute. the The body of the wallet also has like that beautiful floral design print. And it does have, like, somewhere. I'm going to see how much I can clean that off. I have, like, a good fabric cleaner that'll hopefully clean that up a lot. Um, and it does have, like, some rubbing to the leather. But we will... We're going to, like, try to cover it up, seal it up really well, and get it looking really, really good. There's a little snap right there. And that opens up to this right here. You got all this real estate right there lots of space for cash and receipts and stuff uh you might even be able to fit your cell phone into there and then you got lots of card slots it does say gucci made in italy right there and then when you turn the turn lock it's just another compartment right here on the front i love this wallet like it's so pretty this is lined in leather in the front part right here um and then look at that print it's so pretty that floral there's like butterflies and some grasshoppers like some insects and stuff so it does have some um discoloration on the fabric so like i said i'm going to try to clean it up as much as i can without like ruining the print because it's so so pretty but yeah it's so so cute i'm obsessed i'm very happy to have found this and i think i think one of you guys is really gonna like this it's such a beautiful wallet and it's a really cool piece Hopefully I have enough time. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to work on this tonight for the live sale. So, I don't know. We will see. Then I have another item, which now this I might keep for myself. I don't know. I might have to because it was pretty expensive when I bought it. Though, these sunglasses are still available online. They retail for like $600. They come with a case. I love the quilted case. It's so cute. It also does come with like the little um, cleaning cloth but here are the sunglasses they are fabulous also i have my fingerprints all over these but look how chic they have like the big sides they're quilted they have the cc's 
Ugh, it's so good. Look how cool they are, too. Oh, that is a good pair of sunglasses. I think I might have to keep these. I think these are too cool. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'll, I'll put them in the live, in the sale, see if anyone's interested in them for the price that I, I list them at. Um, just be forewarned, they're going to be a little bit more expensive than I normally try to price the sunglasses. But that's only because these are so cool. They're still available online, full price. For six hundred dollars so it will be a lot better than six hundred dollars though but yeah but these are cool like i i'm not gonna if if no one ends up buying them i'm gonna be like okay cool i'm gonna just wear them i'm gonna rock them i think they're so awesome my mom is gonna be sad because i feel like she might like these too but this is the type of lens it goes all the way across so like this whole thing is just like one piece of glass and I don't think you can put a prescription in this type of style, so or it would be really expensive. But so chic, so cool. They're a pretty great shape too. They have light mark, like a, one or two really light marks on the lenses, but nothing else. And they're so cool. Oh, the more I wear them, the more I like them. So yeah, so fun. They will come with the case and the little cleaning cloth. I don't know if this sh this is a Chanel cleaning cloth. I think it just might be a black one. Oh, no, it is Chanel. Yeah, it does say Chanel on there in black. That's why I couldn't see it. It's like black on black for the cleaning cloth. And it says Chanel on the inside. Really, really cool. I love that. And then last but not least, I have this. Oh, it goes with a ghost. <gasps> Stop. That is so cute. This is a MCM um, I, I, I want to call it like the Kelly style bag. It's so cute. It's all white though. It's white, silver hardware, back pocket. This can be worn as a backpack or as a crossbody. I've actually had this bag once like maybe two years ago. It was a while ago. Um, it has the straps right here so you can wear it as a backpack or as a crossbody. So fun. The interior is unlined and it's suede on the inside on the inside it's pretty clean there might be some slight discolorations at the bottom but like nothing crazy and then it just has like the turn lock here on the front and then you can attach the crossbody strap um onto here you can wear it as a crossbody like i said or as a backpack so you attach the two straps right here to make it a backpack or just a one strap right here to make it a shoulder bag or you can um you can i don't think you can use the shorter like this this short of the strap to make it a crossbody you might have to attach like a different strap to it but it's such a cool bag beautiful it looks like a kelly and it's mcm so that's it that is going to end today's video i hope you guys had fun checking it out again don't forget to join me at the live sale today it's at 1 p.m pacific time and yeah, if you can't, you can always watch the replay. Or just like let me know if you're interested in any of these items. Send me an email. Um, it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Just down below in the description box as well. I love you guys so much. Tune in tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys!